Do you see these trees behind me? Yes, they look exactly like the Oregon trees, but these are California trees. And my feet are on California soil for the very first time. And yes, this Florida girl is still wearing her flip-flops even though it's 50 degrees out. Yes! That's interesting. We just, as a passenger car, had to go through an agricultural checkpoint to enter California from yeah, you Oregon. Yeah, go through 197 to the Oh, really? That's yeah, so that weird. Hey, we're going through a tunnel in a mountain instead of Oregon, which literally makes you drive completely around every mountain in the gosh darn state. So here's the state line. That's the tunnel we just came out of, and we still gotta go all the way. Actually, I don't know where. There's the state parks, the national forest is further down though. to us. I feel like I'm going to have a Silent Hill moment shortly. <laughs> oh, those are some crumbly looking bits. Yeah, this looks like fun. Lots of crumbly bits. Yeah. Oh, I've always wanted to come see this. Um, but this is the state park. We're not at the yeah, national park yet. The These trees are so big. Oh my god, they just go up and up and up. So this is my first, like, real redwood tree. Oh my gosh, it's huge. And, like, I can't even look up high enough to see the top of it. <sighs> Guys, this is, I've literally wanted to come here forever. This tree is so big. So straight ahead, that is the Battery Point Lighthouse. It is currently closed, um, so there's no tours or anything going on, so we weren't able to go over there. But this here is the Pacific Ocean. Let's get down and play in the sand. And this is the Pacific Ocean. It's a little windy, a little chilly but it is beautiful. The wave made it almost all the way in, but this is the Pacific Ocean, and it's in. really cool. Oh yeah, oh my God, it is gonna get my feet. Yeah. Oh, sh run away. It's get you. <laughs> <laughs> These rocks, so the beach here is just rocks. There's no sand, but they are so pretty. And it's really cool, because all in here, I'm trying to see if I can see one. Like right there, that little bit of white, that's a teeny tiny little sea anemone. They have all these little tide pools and sometimes you'll see like little crabs and stuff scuttling around. So much fun. The elusive Sasquatch checking out the beach. 
very hard to see. California nature, but there's a little, he looks like a squirrel, but he's not. He's like a groundhog type animal. He's so cute. Welcome to Silent Hill. <laughs> We're gonna hike in this? Oh my lord. We're gonna die. <laughs> wow, you cannot tell where the ocean ends and the fog begins. That's crazy. Oh, so we're gonna be hitting some of these vista points when you can actually see stuff. This is so cool. The Pacific side is just so different from the Atlantic side. Like there's no rocks out in the ocean in the Atlantic side. And like, it's all flat. So you don't see like the cliffs going right up to the ocean edge. It's just, oh, it's so cool. Oh, black sand beach, hey, this is cool. See, I don't even care that this is in my feet. The rocks underneath my feet and my flip flops are a bit much. Wow, look at the waves. Oh, this is so cool. We're just about to enter Redwood National Forest, which is like that way a little bit. But we found a rest stop and it's literally right next to the beach, which is so weird because we didn't realize we were right next to the beach. But folks have used the driftwood to make these cool little shelters for like relaxing at the beach. This is really cool. There is truly nothing like the smell of the beach. It's amazing how just like I can close my eyes and just breathe in and you just smell that salt water and it's just like being home. Oh, it's amazing. There are some massive waves out there. Woo! And this water's really cold too. And the dunes leading up to the beach, it's crazy because this is literally just sand. And these little purple and white pansies are growing all over it. It's pretty wild. Bunch of elk just chilling in this guy's front lawn. So after a little bit of backtracking, we think we found the entrance. But there's like not very good signage, so we're not entirely sure if we're in the right spot. Elk crossing, sweet. This tree is so big. This is like twice the size of that one we saw before. It looks like it's split into two completely separate trees. No, more than that, because I think this one's split. That's crazy. Okay. So we're in the state park, the Prairie Creek State Park, and this is Prairie Creek. We're walking over and there's this really cool boardwalk bridge that we're walking across. Look at how clear, you can see straight through the bottom of that water. It is so clean. Oh, it is. It is cool in here. All the trees, all the small trees are covered in, I get, is this lichen or is this a moss? It's moss. It's actually a live thing. Yeah, it's really cool. I mean, it's killing all the trees, but it's pretty. These trees are amazing. It's crazy how big these trees are. These things are hundreds of years old. Thousands. Thousands of years old, excuse me. Whoa, look at that. Look at how the roots are all gnarly. Oh, this is so beautiful out here. Oh, this is cool. We're just walking under a fallen one. Holy cow, these are so big. Like, look at this. It would take you like a week to count the rings on this just to try to figure out how old they were. There's so many of them. Wow. 
Oh wow, that's a big one. I imagine this is what it was like when dinosaurs were roaming the earth. Like this is a primordial forest. It is just amazing. Like words can't describe how big these trees are. Like they're humongous. It would probably take like 20 people with their arms outstretched to circle that tree. And it just goes up forever. This one is hollow. That's so cool. Like you could literally like hide in here. Well, except for the hole in the top. But like, oh my gosh, this is so cool. This tree must have got struck by lightning. It's completely burned out and still healthy as can be, completely alive. That's crazy. This water is so clear. Wow, because this is just fresh snow melt off the mountains. This is about as fresh pure of a spring water as you can get. So you can really see the rings a lot better on this one. These have like really fat rings too. Yeah, one, Some of them. I don't know. Then it got skinnier and skinnier. Interesting. As they get older, they don't grow as much. These are when they were young. They had some a lot of growth in a short period of time. Okay, so this is absolutely terrifying. But I'm inside this one. It's completely blurry. This is, these trees are that big that I'm completely inside of it and have like a ton of room. Crazy. And now I'm going to get out because it's really scary in here. <gasps> oh, this is cool. They made this tree into a tunnel you can walk through. <gasps> There's another one. There's an even bigger one, I think. Whoa. Oh, this is awesome. This is amazing. This is definitely worth the trip. Yeah. Oh, that is cool looking. Oh, the camera's picking it up really well, too. And then we go through another one. Oh, this is fantastic. This is what I came for. Yes. Oh, cool. The trees just keep getting bigger the farther we go. And I love that we kept keep hitting these little pockets where it opens up and you can just see the trees going up the mountain. It is just beautiful. So this is another really cool uh, boardwalk over the creek. Very neat. And this one kind of snakes up until we can get back to the path. It's so quiet out here. Wow, look at the way this tree grew out of the fallen one. The roots just go along and down, and it's a brand new one. That's so cool. The stream is running down below, and every so often, uh, this is the second one we've come to, when you have a little nice viewing spot, they'll throw a bench in. Ocean. Yay! So we have finally made it 350 miles later. We have made it from Grants Pass to the Redwood Forest in California, all the way up to Florence, Oregon, which is where we will be spending the next two nights here at the Driftwood Shores Resort. This is actually a place we've been staying for years. I mean, I think the first time we stayed here when I was like 14, uh, when my dad brought me out. I love this place. Beach access, right on the Pacific Ocean. Every single room in this resort faces the ocean. <sighs> really hoping that the clouds stay high so that I can actually show the sunset tonight. But the sun's still way up there, so we got a little ways to go. But. It's so nice to have a home base for two nights so we can spend some time playing around in the sand. Oh, I can't wait to get out on the beach again. We're back on the beach, baby. Oh, and yeah. this is white sand. Mm -hmm. um, where down south it was black sand. It's chilly though. Um, but 
I can't wait to go play on the beach. So this is a really cool thing about this beach is the winds can get crazy high here. And this is all from the wind. All these shapes you see is from the wind blowing the, yeah, it blows the dry sand off of everything. It's very cool. If you like these videos, please click that subscribe button, tap the like and ring that notification bell. So you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank you so much for watching, and now we're on to the next adventure. Bye guys!